My name is Lasso. I was born and raised in Mela, Thailand refugee camp. Life as a refugee is not always as safe as you think. There was no hope left for my parents. Every morning was a new day, but the food was over from the day before. Because of that, we needed a better life. I talked to my grandparents on the phone and told them to bring me different type of fruit when I got to America. I will cut off those fruit names, such as apple, banana, grapes, and more. As a child, I always wanted to ride a plane. When the plane flew above the village, the children would wave their hands and run after the plane and shout bye-bye. When we came to begin our new life, my mom came as a single parent because my dad didn't have the ID, which cut the power, so he was left behind alone. The day we got the ID, my dad was in back home working. Before we left the camp, we had a celebration and prayed for a safe trip. Early next morning, my family started to prepare to go to the truck station where a group of family waited for a truck and were ready for a better life. The time came. We got inside the truck and I saw my dad with his red eye tear on his cheeks and he waved it to his children slowly. On the way to Mepa, all I heard was hiccup from the people crying. The place in Mepa smelled sickly. The place where we stayed for a week looked like a hospital in the 1800s. Staying in Mepa was like we were in the jail because we couldn't leave the fence. We only got to eat breakfast and dinner and there was no snack to eat. The time flew by and we get out of Mepa. We went on a long ride to Bangkok and I saw the beautiful Angkor Temple in Thailand for the very first time. At that moment, I felt like I was in heaven and my eyes went wild. We stayed in Bangkok Hotel for a day and that is also my very first time sleeping on the bed. In the morning, we went out to the airport. On the plane is where my family journey started to get challenging. When we got on the plane, my mother had to take care of my little sister and I have to watch over my several years old brother. In the plane, my brother kept on throwing up and I cleared out his mess because I wanted to help my mom since she didn't have a helper. Inside the plane, I didn't know if it was morning or night time and my heart was dark and I felt lost. I didn't speak English so all I could ask for is water because that was the only English word I could say. When we get off the plane, the airport smelled like coffee to me and the water had no taste. We had to take off our shoe and jacket for the airport security. I have to pull my brother and chase other so we wouldn't get lost at the airport. I was weak and tired but I still kept on going. We have to follow the worker. The moment when my shoes started to get wet, smoke came out when I breathed and my body started to shake. I was confused. I was cold. When I finally met my grandparents again after two years, I was happy. They bought me the fruit that I asked for. Sadly, I didn't eat the fruit because they didn't taste the way I expected. My family made it to St. Paul, Minnesota on February 3, 2011. Over the journey, I have learned that even when you go somewhere with your single mom to a place that you have never experienced before, you will make it to your destination and you will have a good life.